Hello everyone and back with another video and in today's video we're gonna be with Little Princess against Very Nice and Necromonger. Alright, so yes, this is again one of those battles where in which, well, we're basically outmatched, outranked in both ways. <laughs> 27 and 20... what was that? What's that rank is that? 26? Oh well, yeah, I mean not really that much but 4 ranks gap. So yes, of course, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe, smash the like button. Ring the bell icon to be notified of any content com coming out of my channel. Let's go! Alright here. And so, I am the yellow player. Little Princess is the red player. So, keep in mind that he is rank 22. Okay, so he's up against the blue player, which is very, very nice. And uh, that guy is actually rank 27. Okay, so HQ, good at collecting those containers. Perfect. Okay, so Wasp, and uh, we'll very soon have a Armadillo. Super container appearing right here. I tried to get as many containers as I can. Yeah, these enemies are decent. Um, CN player is actually strong. Well, does have a stronger hero than I do, which which is class 7. Uh, Wasp, class 7 Mole, and class 8 Leviathan. Okay, so continuous production of those. We got like an engagement right around here, battling against that super container. Okay. Very good. So we're gonna have to try or actually win this engagement right here. Okay, Cerberus right there. Hidden infantries, of course. Oh, and it was not actually hidden, so my bad. Tracy, you do. Okay, so we're gonna have to try and deal some damage here. Seraphim is already out, and at this point, I actually lagged. Or I was disconnected in the game. And so. I could not really control those units as you guys can see right there, they're on micro. So Cyclos from both sides and a Seraphim will be, of course, demolishing what I have right there. Okay, HQ level 4. Just now I got reconnected. Prototype facility. Okay, we see Seraphim, Cyclones right there, which is actually a good combo for an early game or mid game due to the fact that they can see hidden infantries. Of course, Dragonfly from um, Little Princess will be obliterated. He has like six supply centers, a factory, a special vehicle factory, two of them, one of which is level three, and an Avia factory. Okay, good micro on those uh, porcupines. Good uh, scouts right there because he can actually see where those attacks are coming from. Okay, now, two of the Seraphim actually. Well, went on march mode, avoiding the, uh, avoiding the porcupine's, uh, rockets altogether. And there's, like, a Cerberus right there. One of the Seraphim from the CM player, Necromonger, actually launched the skill. And the Chameleon is already out here. Okay, I'm going to have to try and assist, uh, my partner here with the Dragonfly, Porcupine, and, of course, a Jaguar. Cerberus jumping around there, trying to fish out where the Chameleon is located. Now, there are some Typhoons around here, so I'm going to have to try and micro my uh, Dragonfly into attacking Cerberus outside the range of the Typhoons as much as I can. Blue player's uh, Seraphim is out, however, there are some Torts around here with some Zeus. Okay, two buildings has been destroyed, another power plant being rebuilt to supply more power. Acid Burn, or Acid Strike, there you go, Acid Burst. And so there's clearly a lack of Typhoons here, and uh, they're going to have to retreat at this point. Well, they did not really destroy that much, in my opinion, due to the presence of that um, Chameleon. And Porcupines, Dragonflies here on my end. Nice defense, I would say. Leviathan is already out. Okay, Super Container appearing right here. And another Jaguar will be destroyed on my end. Thanks to connection issues. Thank you. 
Okay, Leviathan and Wasp Wound is now in production here in my end and are now queued up. Super Container appearing right here and I am very laggy indeed. Okay. Little Princess trying to attack. Okay, two Seraphims around here. Chameleon's been destroyed. One of the Chameleon. Oh man, those torrents are scary. Okay. Porcupine and of course a Leviathan. Although there's like a Solaris here from that guy. Oh, disgusting damage. Leviathan will be destroyed and basically everything here will be cleaned up. Yes. Okay now. Here on my end, I am just, you know, producing as many things as I can. All right here. Nothing crazy here so far. Now, due to the disconnections of my internet and, of course, the very laggy thing, it actually messed up my base development for, well, I've, I've actually got thrown off the game a lot of time. So, I just have like five supply centers and I just realized it very late. Okay, now adding more uh, vehicle factory here that Seraphim or Solaris is actually here. Both the CM player and the blue player also have their vertexes. Okay, let's see how this goes. Oh man, this is gonna be tough. Okay there. Orange Zeus Typhoon along with a Solaris. Leviathan already popped out again here from uh, from Little Princess. Oh, disgusting damage again. Getting rid of all those Jaguars and Porcupines there from uh, Little Princess. And uh, we see a nuclear right here launching out from that Leviathan. Boom! Oh, wow. Not gonna lie. That's a very good damage right there. So technically speaking, this blue player did not really switch to an air raid attack. So I'm going to have to try and help out my partner here with the defense because four or five vertex ain't really a threat for my Leviathan since I have max anti-air. There you go. Kablooey. So my Leviathan right here is actually quite MVP on that pack due to the presence of the anti-air being maxed. Meanwhile, this CM player will also be attacking me thinking it's a good idea for him to do that and he'll catch me off guard. So he actually got flanked <laughs> from the side of my base which is defending and then the Dragonfly Wasp and Leviathan at the back. And so my mammoths are actually focusing or focusing their firepower at those shield generators which they managed to destroy and the rest are history. And again, Vertex 1, 2, 4, 5 Vertex ain't really a problem for my Leviathan. And so just like that, I managed to clean up this attack. Going back over here, Little Princess is actually struggling against this uh, guy right here. We got like a Seraphim on March mode. I really, really would like him to go that... Uh, oh man, switch the mode on that. Okay. And so I'm going to have to try and go for the offensive and destroy as many things as I can here. As the Cyan player's army has been decimated by my army that defended the base and blue player is actually kind of busy defending or attacking my partner so i'm going to have my partner buy as much time as he can until at least until i destroy this guy right here again one two vertex ain't a problem for my leviathan yep <laughs> those vertex will fall all right so i actually spread my jagger support right here as he doesn't really have a ton of uh, units since I managed to destroy it. And so um, it's time to steamroll, destroying that X facility, preventing further production of any heroes. Kabloi! Okay, Vertex trying to uh, help out from the blue player's side. Mammoths destroying that X facility, managed to take it out. Turrets from the mole, and then of course, reproducing that wasp. I only got like four supply centers since the other one got destroyed. And the other two, I forgot to build. LOL. Porcupines just arrived here on the scene. Protecting against, uh, or helping out with the defense against those Vertex. Blue player retreated in terms of assisting his partner. Attacking me or flanking my army that's uh, placed vertically. 
to see Chip the base of uh, Necromonger. Again, my Leviathan is raining rampant right around there. And I'm going to have to switch positions right away. And the uh, blue player Seraphim actually got in the way of my porcupines. Although, I don't really have a lot. But I'm not scared of that uh, Seraphim. Again. Okay. This is without a shield. Mammoth. Jaguars are almost there and then of course, you know, like the mole here is being uh, targeted by those some of the torrents right there Which is never really a good idea to attack a mole since it's very tanky Okay, acid burst Managed to get rid of majority of the blue players army at this point in time And now my Leviathan is just here chilling Yeah, chill Take the chill pill man Okay, and I actually managed to destroy both armies of the CN and the blue player just like that. Yep, HQ is gone. Now focusing on health uh, recovery. Partner going to, uh, well, positioning himself at the top side of the uh, map to attack this corner of the map. Now again, majority of the forces of the blue and the CN player has been obliterated. And I'm just going to have to try and finish off this uh, CN player. Not much he can do at this point. Okay, so my partner here trying to somewhat take revenge for cleaning up his base multiple times. Still, blue player trying to somewhat, you know, save his partner. But that ain't happening. Yeah. GG on that part though. Okay. Partner going over here. Let's see how he does. Okay. And here we go. Torrents. Zeus right there. Mammoths firing from afar. Mole turrets getting rid of those uh, Zeus and Torrents. Fast cleanup. And then of course the Vertex. And there's an also an attack coming from the top side of those uh, guys base. Again, 2-4 Vertex is not going to be a problem here for me. Kablooey! Alright, well, not much this guy can do now since he's going to be cleaned up. Again, I just want to point out how well my partner did in terms of holding out the attack from both the Cyan player and the Blue player at the same time. So yes, again, um, not all games were in which you are outranked in 2 versus 2 or 3 versus 3 you're gonna lose although majority of the time that will be the case but not all the time all right so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe smash the like button ring the bell icon to be notified of any content coming from my channel and yes my partner is imba tracy crab yes oh you see he replied no you crab See? Very good assumption. Very good analysis. Thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a great day and good luck with your battle. Victory! Victory. Bye!